So now let's see how we can use the Shapes tool inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on Comment right here. And then over here on the top, you can see that there's a bunch of shapes. Once you click on it, you can see that there's different uh, type of shapes that you can use. For example, you can click on Line and you can click and drag it. And then you can just uh, drag out a line over here uh, on the PDF document. And this line is associated with a comment. So you can simply go around over here and say this is a comment right here and post it up. And just like with any other comment, you have option to open the pop up notes right here. You can reply there. You can set status and you can go over here onto hiding the comment app. You can go around and then open up or close up all the pop ups right here. And then you can go around into properties to get more option over here. So you can also set, let's say, for example, open and close to set up arrows onto this particular uh, shape right here, as you can see. So now we have more like an arrow shape. You can also go to style and have a dotted style and you can go around into different colors. You can go around with the fill colors as well, just like this, and then change around the opacity of the shape. Then you can go around over here into general and review history to see more details. So this is just for the shape, as you can see. So you can go around over here and then you can click and drag it to change out the shape according to what you need. So let's explore some other shapes as well. So let me just go to comment right here and then up over here, you can click on it and then there's different shapes. Like you can create polygons and then close it out. You got a shape right here. You can go around and then click on this and then change uh, and click and drag like individual points to change the shape. You can right click, go to properties right here and you got the style option. You can change around the width and then there's other option like opacity and so forth as you can see. So you can go around over here and explore different options. So there's a lot of different things like there's cloud as you can see, which makes your object look like a cloud just like this. There's like a text call out, which you can use to click and drag and there's a text call out. Uh, there's like a rectangle to make a rectangle shape right here. There's oval to make an oval shape right here. You can resize them out later as well. And then you got like connected lines over here as well, just like this. So you can go around over here. You can expand the drawing tool as well. And what it does is it brings up all the drawing tool right over here on the top. So you want to bring in some shape. You can simply click and drag it out. And then that is what you have. So you can go around over here, right click, go to properties and then work around with these things. So you can see that I can increase the uh, fill right here. I can go around and then I can use the point right here. I can work around with the opacity and then you can see that you can add in a lot of design elements onto this. So you can see that you can go around over here, choose the color right from over here as well. And then you can work around with the lines and so forth. If you actually have in a text right here. So let's say, for example, if I have a text, uh, over here, then what I can do is I can go around, choose the font settings over here to give it a look. And then I can simply close this. So uh, I can go around and then click outside, click and drag this out, keep it inside the text box as well. So I can see that you can add in a lot more detailed comment with these tools right here. So you, you can see that you can associate each of the shapes with the common. So uh, the other users are like, if you want to remind yourself of something, then you can just add that in. And that is how you can uh, utilize the shape tools inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.